I'm Dr. Prashant Chaje, a senior pulmonologist at Leelawati Hospitals with special interest in interventional pulmonology and sleep disorder breathing. So what is the spectrum of treatment options in respiratory care? First and foremost, obviously, are the prescribed pills which are given on a regular basis for various diseases. The secondly, it is intravenous medications which may be given particularly when the individual is admitted in the hospital. The other treatment options include inhaler therapy for asthma and COPD. The inhaler therapy can be given in the form of an inhaler, which is a pressurized canister or a dry powdered inhaler or via nebulization. In individuals who have a chronic respiratory disease, such as interstitial lung disease or a COPD, both of which are advanced or any chronic lung disease where the oxygen levels go low, home oxygen therapy has become an important armamentarium in managing such patients. In patients with advanced respiratory disease and type 2 respiratory failure, home non-invasive ventilation has also become an integral part of respiratory care. The other treatment options for diseases like obstructive sleep apnea include CPAP, which is continuous positive airway pressure. Interventional pulmonology methods are also there to treat patients who have airway obstructions, which can be treated with techniques such as balloon dilatation or stent placement or bronchoscopic debulking techniques.